of the driving forces of the Human Ecology Project uh, is the idea that we need to form a, an improved way of looking at nutrition and that one of the most important things we can do is understand nutrition in terms of uh, ecology. The search for nutritious food uh, is really the search to be alive. Uh, and it's been one of the driving forces both in physical and cultural evolution with humankind uh, since our emergence on the planet. Uh, it is our search for air, water, and sunlight, and food. These are, these are the most important relationships we have with the environment and the most intimate. We have the greatest control over our food of all of those. This is something that we can actually make the, the, the broadest types of choices uh, without actually moving where we live. And there are two things that have helped us in doing that. One of them is understanding cooking. Cooking is a way that we discovered uh, which could improve the efficiency of digestion. It could make it possible for us to gain nutrients from some foods uh, that contain the nutrients but were very difficult to digest if we didn't cook them. The second thing is our emergence uh, as an agricultural species. We not only learned how to plant and, and to live off the land, of, uh, off the fruits of the land, but we also learned how to create soil. We learned how to stay in one place for thousands and thousands of years and keep rebuilding the soil so that we had the opportunity of forming this commensal relationship with the environment that we lived in. This relationship is characterized by the fact that we could take from the environment but we could give back so that our existence was not actually taking away a resource it was helping to rebuild it this was an acknowledgement also uh, that there are two environments here that we're dealing with one is the environment of the soil itself uh, through good agricultural practice we build up the microorganisms and, uh, and, and create a living, healthy soil. And if we do that, we're creating plants which in turn feed the healthy microorganisms that are within our body, that lie within the human gut. Because it is here in the human gut that the whole secret of nutrition really takes place. Now there are several things that we can learn by looking at the structure of the gut itself. One is that we're herbaceous animals. Uh, we have this extremely long intestinal tract, which is a feature of herbaceous animals, and it, it means that we have the capacity of really maximizing the efficiency of the food that we eat, if we eat the right food, uh, and if it is digested thoroughly. And so proper mastication of food, uh, adding in the proper cooking and, and, and choices of food, we can create a, a community of microorganisms within the human body which actually make us healthier human beings. Now, these have been labeled in more recent years as the, as the human biome or the gut biome. And, and this is an acknowledgement of these millions and millions of microorganisms that live within the body that really do all the heavy lifting in terms of the, the, the efficiency of what we eat, increasing the efficiency of what we eat. So in conjunction with enzymes that we secrete uh, and with the activity of the stomach and, uh, and, and digestive acids, the microbiomes make sure that nothing is wasted that everything is fulfilled, everything uh, is enhanced that we eat. And we have the capacity to create a specific biome which is more efficient depending on the food that we eat. And, and it's a relationship between this internal environment and our health that's so important because one of the things is that, that our immunity is really schooled in the biome. In other words, this is where the body gets to practice. The immune system, the immune functions of the body get to practice in the digestive system and become either more or less efficient. We know that there are vitamins that are synthesized within the biomes, B and K, and uh, every indication is that there are other vitamins that are synthesized there too, but this, this is really a new study that we're looking at, particularly uh, in the area of the large intestine called the cecum. Then last but not least is metabolism. The activity in the gut flora allows the body to utilize nutrients 
the otherwise would pass through wasted. And so again, I want to bring us back to this whole issue of digestive efficiency. A good organism, a healthy organism, is one that is extremely, extremely efficient. And the human gut can be efficient if we feed the biome because it does all the work. Now, obviously, there are certain foods that stress the biome and that actually change it very, very dramatically. Uh, people who eat a diet, for instance, with a lot of dairy or a lot of meat have a completely different biome uh, than people that eat a more plant-based diet. And it is the plant-based diet that is the most biome friendly. It's the consumption of vegetables and beans and, and grains and seeds and fruits and nuts that really feed the biome. These are foods that are long digestive tract, uh, our capacity to masticate food completely and create a healthy biome. These are, the, these are the foods that the biome really loves. These are the most nourishing foods to create health. When we look at uh, nutrition from this point of view, we see that really nu nutrition is more akin to gardening than anything else. What we're doing is we're creating the right kind of environment for these microorganisms to, to live. And, and using some of the discoveries that pr the traditional peoples have learned, uh, if we add in fermented foods like, like uh, pickled vegetables, uh, like misos, uh, tempehs, foods from around the world, uh, those are foods that are, that are very, very stimulating to a healthy biome. On the other hand, we can create a high-stress diet. Uh, we can eat a diet that has lots of white flour, fatty meat, and dairy fats in it. We can consume food that has highly refined sugars and, and chemical additives in it. Uh, these kind of foods are very stressful to the biome. Uh, we can have refined salt and, and rancid oil in our diet. We can add in whatever we want, and we do. And every time we do that, we're poisoning the garden within. Uh, particularly with sugar, sugar, sugar. Right? These are f foods that are that are tragic in their biological effect. And all we want to do is lessen the stress and increase the efficiency of the food that we eat. In other words, we need to focus on creating health from the inside out. And that's not done by analysis. That's done by just going back to the foods that traditionally aided us in our own evolution. So we can change all this, you know. Um, it's been proven that you can change your biome and we just need to keep this conversation alive and we'll be fine. This has been a presentation of the Human Ecology Project, Eating as if Life Matters.